Hello all you people out there in YouTube land. Today is a good day. Today is a great day actually. And I'll tell you why. Because I'm back in Texas and I get to play with my toys. Now this here is my Marlin 60, my 22 semi-automatic rifle. And I have a new toy for it. You see center point optic, universal laser, and flashlight kit. It mounts to your scope. So you have a laser and a flashlight. Take you a good box cover. You know, something nice and rusty. And be sure to lock it. Safety first, I guess. Split it open. And when I said nice and rusty, I also forgot to mention dull, apparently. we go make sure you cut away from me I made that mistake once and it's not fun emergency room visits suck all right now with this kit you're gonna get obviously the flashlight and the laser combo and like I said it mounts right there on your scope you're also gonna get the batteries for it comes with them three little watch looking batteries and then this funky looking camera looking son of a bitch then you uh, check it out and you have everything you're gonna need to install it you've got all your hardware your allen wrenches has little adapter plates for different size tubes and here's the cool part it comes with pressure pads that you can mount it comes with two of them one for each one and yes we're going to use the pressure pads today for installation on this thing so oh and lest I forget the velcro for the ins for the pressure pads so obviously first things first we got to unscrew it so we're going to take the little allen wrench that comes with the kit find the right one because there's two of them and then unscrew. Now, I'm not going to insult your intelligence so I'm going to do it down here where it's comfortable. Remember righty tighty lefty loosey. Set them screws down where you're not going to lose them. And test fit. Always, always, always test fit. The reason why? I have scope lens covers that flip up. On the picture, it shows it sitting like that. If I have it sitting like that, my scope lens covers blocks the flashlight and the laser. And we are now running into a very, very good reason as to why you should always test fit. This scope mount right here it's too far forward so what we're going to do we're going to loosen it loosen it on the receiver loosen it on the scope itself this should not change anything on this scope the only thing I'm doing is moving this back that is it nothing else get it loose get it broke loose and then unscrew and then unscrew and then unscrew <sighs> looks like I'm gonna have to break the other one loose because it's really cinched down there because I need a little play There we go. Move that back just a hair. And then we set it on there. 
and by golly, she fits. And you get everything, make sure it's straight and level. There's nothing worse than, than crooked crosshairs. I'm eyeballing this a little bit, so I've got enough experience doing this to where hopefully it doesn't bite me, but eh, you know, we don't find out till you find out. And eventually, there's going to be another video that is a review of this whole gun to include a test fire and a, te and a separate review of this, uh, of this scope, of this new little play toy right here. I may do a review on the sling and the bipod. I'm not sure yet, but we'll find out. Like I said, we'll find out when we find out. So, get this screwed back down. And again, this doesn't have to be farmer tight to where you can't move it. And it helps if you don't drop your tools. It doesn't have to be farmer tight where the whole thing is, the screw's useless when you try to unscrew it. Just enough to where it's got a good little bite. And again, this is a 22. It ain't a 300 win mag or a 416 rig so it, it's not like it has a whole lot of kick I'm gonna take it stick it on there however you want it I'm gonna have it this way simply because on the other side there's ejection ports and I don't want wires and everything else on the same size as those ejection ports what I'm gonna do I'm gonna turn this gun around so I can see better what I'm doing for now, with the actual addition of the back piece, stick it on there and unscrew these caps because I am not going to use those push buttons. It ain't happening. Unscrew the push caps. Undo the packaging for the batteries. And read the uh, instruction manual. Something I don't ever do, but I want to make sure I get these in right. These little disc batteries. It ain't hard to put batteries in. I'm not going to film that. I'm not going to insult your intelligence. And it's probably going to be edited out. Get them in there. Set them in there nice and easy. Alright. That's in there right. Test it with the end of that screw cap. And then... Oh, that was close. All right. Get it in there. That's why. Like I said, I'm using the pressure pads, so I'm installing those right now. That way I ain't got to worry about it later. And, there you go. That one's on. There's going to be another video showing how to um, 
sight these in. Well, the laser needs to be sighted in. It's uh, rated for 50, but my scope is already at 50, so it's getting sighted in at 25. Get it screwed on. And they're going to flop around like angry snakes. And then your pressure pad for your light. I'd say it works. Then, you're going to go ahead, stick that there, or however you're going to mount it, get that other ring, get that first screw on there, very, very carefully, because it is a bitch if it drops or falls or anything like that and again make sure you don't get it so extremely insanely tight that the screw is rendered useless and the threads are gone and another reason why you don't want to do it is simply because it's bad for the scope it'll mess your scope up quicker than anything else get it on there get it just tight enough to where it'll hold on and like I said it's a 22 y'all it's not a 300 Weatherby Magnum. It is not a 416 Rigby. It's not a 350. Or it's not a 375 lot. It's a 22. It isn't going to go anywhere. It doesn't have to be uber 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 tight. That's how you mess up scopes. That's how you mess up screws. Just tight enough to where when you move it with your finger or try to move it with your finger, it doesn't move. And look at there. Look at there. It's on there. It ain't going anywhere. And if I really, really wanted to, I can still turn it. Same for this one right here. Now, Screw that on. This scope has a little uh, illuminated uh, reticle, and uh, well, that's another subject for another time. Route these on here however you want them routed. Do it now because you're not going to be able to change it later. You're going to want to make sure that your stock is clean. No oil wherever you're mounting it. It comes with little um, Velcro pads. I'm mounting these things way, way, way up in the front where I never grab when I'm shooting this gun. That way I don't accidentally activate them and you place them where you want them run them however you want them and stick them in place. And I'm probably going to take Gorilla Glue to that. Because I'm not liking the way that's sitting. Alright. Then you're going to get your other one. Run it and route it however you're going to route it. Again, I'm mounting this up, way up, toward the front where I never grab this thing. Right here. 
peel off the paper, stick it on the back, just like that. Take off this one, put it on the stock, just like that. Now, mine are not perfectly straight on there. They're a little offset. There's a reason for that. Because my hand is going to be like this. Grabbing it. My finger, this finger is going to be curved a little bit farther back than this thumb. So it's offset for a reason. You can't see it, but it's there. Alright, let's check it out. We got it, we got it on. This gun is unloaded. Bam! Just like that. If I want light, or if I want laser only, there's the laser. If I want the light only, there's the light. If I want them both, I'm not sure how well you can see them, but they're both on. This gun is unloaded, it is safety checked. Bam! Nothing. Empty. Bolts locked back. Wouldn't do that if there was gun if there was bullets in the in the magazine. Let the bolt forward. And I'm probably going to wind up modifying these uh, pressure pads just a little bit. Simply so as they stick better. But I am happier than, well, uh, I'm not going to, a pig in excrement. We'll say that. But this is uh, something I've been wanting to try out. And let's uh, see it with the scope cover up. Bam, bam, beautiful. All right, the Centerfire Optics Universal Light and Laser.